Just hanging out in this cardboard box. Check it out. It's like a bird. Whee! <laughs> oh, I have so many cardboard boxes around here. What are we to do with them? Hmm. I have an idea. Why don't we take a few of these cardboard boxes and make something out of them? <laughs> this is gonna be fun. just making a rocket ship out of these cardboard boxes. <laughs> I am using these scissors nice and safely to cut a giant window out of it. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> wow. Ooh, now I can sit inside it later. <laughs> then we can explore outer space. I am so excited. Okay, here we go. So now that I have my window, I can then, put the cardboard box, well, used to be a box, now it's a rocket ship, up. And do you see this? This is a square. Yeah, but we actually need to make it a triangle. <laughs> so, let's take our scissors. Yep. With your parents' grown-up supervision, you can cut this nice and carefully. Okay, one side is done. And now we need to do the other side. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Look at that. It used to be a square, but now it's a triangle. <laughs> okay, now we need some tape to then tape it to make the top of the rocket ship. Okay, here we go. Let's grab the tape. Pull off a big piece of tape. Whoa! Alright, let's give it a little slice. Okay, there we go. Whoa! <laughs> okay, put that there. I love making things out of cardboard boxes. You can make so many things. Today we're making a rocket ship, but one time I made a monster truck, another time I made a dolphin, <laughs> and I named that dolphin, uh, what was that name? I think it was Dolphy. <laughs> oh, oh, sometimes the tape gets stuck, but that's okay, we got it. All right, there we go. Give it a little slice. Then, tape up the other side. Wow, here we go. I am so excited to go into outer space. Have you ever seen the stars at night? Yeah, they're so bright. <laughs> and the moon, I love the moon. Have you noticed that the moon sometimes is a full moon? Yeah, sometimes it's a half moon and sometimes it's a new moon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's uh, give this a little twist. Now it's time to design our rocket ship. I am so excited. This is one of my favorite parts. So the first step to design is to have a plan. So let's take this white piece of paper right here and let's draw the rocket ship. So the first thing you need to do is plan. Plan how the rocket ship is going to look. So let's draw the rocket ship. So we have a trapezoid over here. And then we have a big rectangle for the body of the rocket ship. And then we have a triangle for the cone of the rocket ship. And obviously I want a lot of color. So first, Let's take some orange. Perfect. I love orange. And then let's take some blue. So let's color it in. I have a plan. I'm going to use colored paper for that. So I'm actually going to use this black marker 
to symbolize that these are pieces of paper. We will do that later. All right. Oh, whoa, there's a lot of stars here. So let's actually, you know, make some stars right here. Yeah. Yeah, I love stars because you see them at nighttime when you look up in the sky and they twinkle. Yeah, kind of like twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <laughs> you know that song. I like that song too. Ooh, and yellow? Yeah, that's a beautiful color. Wow, our rocket ship is looking so good. All right, I think I have a really good idea. Let's take the color red because it's nice and bright and spell my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I Flippy. Perfect. All right, so that is the plan. Oh, looks like this triangle, the top of the rocket ship. Yeah, we could color it. How about we color it, yeah, blue. I like blue. And we actually have a lot of blue paint on the here, so we can actually just use blue paint for this part. Wow, perfect. Whoa, I think if we can make this rocket ship in real life, it's gonna be so good. All right, here we go. All right, like I said, First thing we have to do is use the blue and orange colored paper to put on the side, just like this. So let's take the glue stick. Yeah, yep. Put a lot of glue right on the backs, just like that. Okay, there's two pieces. Okay, there's one. Here's the second piece. All right, there's one, two pieces of paper, and we got to do two more. Yeah, which will make one, two, three, four pieces of paper. I'm gonna put the glue on them right over here. Okay. Now we have four pieces. One, two, three, four. So let me finish the rest and then we'll see how many we have in total after I'm all done, all right? Whoa! Look! <laughs> it's falling apart. <laughs> well, sometimes if things fall apart, you just have to fix them, okay? Here we go. And after we fix this, then we can count all of the colors. So, let's take our tape. All right, now the rocket booster is all fixed. Yep, there we go. Okay, now let's count all of the colored pieces. Yeah, the blue and the orange pieces. Those are my two favorite colors. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces of paper. <laughs> Good job. Okay, what else did we have on our piece of paper over here of our initial plans of our rocket ship to go to outer space? We had stars. Yeah, remember? We had yellow stars. Yellow star. Another yellow star. Wow. They're so bright and they twinkle just like the real thing. <laughs> okay, and let's put some blue stars on there. Can you think of anything that's the color blue? <laughs> My shirt. What about 
The big, vast, blue ocean. <laughs> yeah. Here's another blue star. There we go. What about a purple star? Yeah. I like the color purple. Right there. And last but not least, another purple star. Right there. Perfect. That looks so cool! <laughs> Alright, so as you remember, we have to spell my name on it because that's what was on the plans. But before we do that, let's do the top of the rocket ship. Remember what color I said I was going to paint it? Yeah, the color blue! Okay, let's take some blue paint and... <laughs> My painter's palette. <laughs> I'm an artist. <laughs> and let's take a paintbrush. Ooh, I love painting. <laughs> okay, and let's squeeze some blue paint right on top. Whoa! 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 <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. Okay, let's give it a little dab. Do some painting. There we go. Wow. This is such a pretty blue. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. Have you ever used paints before? They're so fun. You can use a paintbrush and you can even use your fingers sometimes. We won't do that today, but that art technique is called finger painting. <laughs> there we go. How does that look? Do you like that? Yeah, I do too. Okay, let's put this away. We need to stay nice and clean and organized. There we go. And remember the last thing we needed to do? We needed to spell someone's name. Oh yeah, my name, Blippi. Will you spell it with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy, good job. And do you remember what color? Yeah, the color red. Okay, so let's use a new paintbrush. Yep. And then we need to make sure we don't mix the red and the blue because then it won't be red anymore and it won't be blue. Do you know what color you get when you mix blue and red? Yep, purple! But we're gonna keep them separate. <laughs> so, let's take this cap off. Oh, there is so much paint in here. And I like to use a lot of paint. Whoa! There we go! Whee! <laughs> Wow, a little bit more. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, let's, uh, before we paint it, we should probably lay it down sideways because we need to write my name, which is sideways. Yeah, there we go, like that. That's how we write sideways. Okay, let's take our paintbrush and let's put the letter B, right here. All right, now that we have the letter B, the second letter is the letter L. Yeah, just like that. The third letter is an I. Ready? Okay, there we go. B, L, I. <laughs> you know the next letter. A P, yeah. B L I P. All right. B L I P P. Yeah, here we go. All right. One last letter. B L I P P I. Blippy, good job. 
go. We just completed the rocket ship. So now we gotta get inside. Oh no! Do you see what I did? <laughs> we are so silly! <laughs> Check this out. The window is right there. Yeah! That means we have to twist it this way. See? And now, my name is upside down! <laughs> That's okay though. We're gonna fly through outer space in this new cardboard rocket ship. I am so excited. With my name being upside down. <laughs> so silly. Are you ready? <laughs> because I sure am. Here we go! building the rocket ship with me. Now that we're in outer space, I think we should explore our solar system and learn all about it. All right, here we go. Whoa! 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 Look at that. That is our sun, and its name is called the sun. <laughs> How original. Our sun provides all the light in our solar system. And that light takes eight minutes to go from the sun to our planet Earth. And the sun is so big, there's 1.3 million Earths that can fit inside of it. Whoa! That's a lot of Earths. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Outer space is so much fun. Oh, look at that planet. That planet is Mercury. Wow, that planet is really rocky. And it, there's so many craters on it. And actually, since it's the closest planet to the sun, one rotation around the sun is super fast. It's only about 88 days on Earth. <laughs> Mercury is awesome. Look at that planet! That planet is the planet Venus. And it is so hot! It's the hottest planet! Woo! It's getting hot in here! <laughs> the planet has so many volcanoes on it! And it's actually really bright. If you look up in the sky from our planet Earth, you can actually see it without a telescope! Wow! <laughs> here we go! Whoa! where you and I live. Wow, what a beautiful planet. There's so much water there, and then there's a lot of trees and mountains. Whoa, and our planet Earth, yeah, we have one moon. Let's head there now. sent robots and rovers to Mars. That is awesome. Us humans have yet to land on Mars ourselves, but maybe someday soon, maybe you'll be the astronaut. Yeah, here we go. our planet Jupiter. It's the biggest planet in our solar system. And do you see that big red dot? That is a storm. Whoa, that's a big storm. And Jupiter actually has 79 moons. <gasps> that's crazy. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! See you later, Jupiter. Hello, Saturn. <laughs> Check it out. This is our planet Saturn. 
Saturn. Whoa, what are those? Those are Saturn's rings. Wow, there's so much dust, ice, and rocks that form those to make up those rings. Wow, what a cool looking planet. All right, Saturn, see you later. Bye-bye. is Uranus. Yeah, what a cool planet. Wow, it's kind of blue looking, huh? Yeah, that's because there's so much ice on it. It's known as the Big Ice Planet. Whoa, it has 13 rings and 27 moons. All right, see you later, Uranus. Bye-bye. <laughs> That planet is the planet Neptune. It's so dark, cold, and windy on that planet. Oh, let's get out of here. The last planet of our solar system. Look at it, it's really small. That is Pluto. It's so small, it's a dwarf planet. Wow, and it's really cold. I love Pluto. <laughs> it's really chilly out here, though. Let's turn around and count all of the planets, shall we? about all of the planets in our solar system together. Hey, I think we should count all of them. Okay, the sun isn't a planet, so let's count the planets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, oh w w wait a second, eight, nine? Who knows? Some people say Pluto's not a planet, but I don't know. It's all up in the air right now. Or, or outer space. <laughs> so silly. Eight or nine. We'll keep it at that. Okay, now let's name the planets. Ready? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Wow! Good job! All right, well, I should probably get going now. Maybe we'll go and explore another solar system someday. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. Gone soon, Tabs? Great! Since I just finished my fun painting! Can you guess what it is? Wow, Tabs! Exactly right! It is a penguin holding a cup of tea while rollerblading through a jungle. So many colors! Whoa! A rainbow! So many colors! I wonder, how does a rainbow get its colors? Great idea, Tabs. We can fly up and ask the rainbow and find out. But first, I'm gonna need wings. Wing confirmed. Let's go explore. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a rainbow gets its colors. Guys and gals, attention please! The big blue sky is proud to present nature's greatest influencer! I'm Bowie the Rainbow! Whoa! Hey! It's me, Blippi! I'm a big fan, Bowie! I know all your colors! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm very proud of my colors. <laughs> Let me show them off one by one. I don't. Red, orange, yellow, green. Blue, indigo, violet. Wonderful job, Blippi. You know, today's a big day. 
We're doing a double rainbow showstopper. Oh, you must be part of my performance. Really? I'd be honored, but um, I don't know how you get all your colors. Could you show me? Of course, Superfan Blippy. First, let's check out this puffy cloud called a cumulus cloud. Ooh, it looks like it just rained too, which is perfect. That means there are lots of water droplets in the air. Wow, this cloud has so many teeny drops of water. Hashtag true. Okay, next step, position the cloud so the sunlight shines true to water droplets, like this. Now, when the light goes true to water, it bends or refracts and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Voila. That is awesome. I think I have the answer to my question. How does a rainbow get all its different colors? It's when... The sunlight shines through water. It bends the light and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Upload answer tabs. A five, six, seven, eight. Wow! Don't forget to like and subscribe. How you doing? All right, see you later, Flippy. And I are gonna learn about, yep, airplanes. Whoa! All the people, they look like ants when we're up with the birds. On the airplane, the wings keep us gliding. We're on top of the world. So hear that worrying engine and look out on the wing. We're gonna fly, fly, fly till we can touch the Gonna fly, fly, fly till we can touch the sky. We're gonna soar right through the clouds. We're gonna fly, fly, fly. We're going way up high on the airplane in the sky. We're going to fly. Cool Flippy Mobile. You're right, Debo. Our car does have amazing things. Hmm, I wonder what were the first cars like? Good idea. We can go way back in time to see one of the first cars. I'm gonna need helicopter blades. Helicopter blades confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Back in time! <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! We just traveled back over 100 years! I wonder whose house this is. It's mine! My name is Blippi. Yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi. Wait, are you my great grandpa? I think I am! Come here, future Blippy great grandson! <laughs> Grandpa, we're here to find out what the first cars were like. 
Good timing. I'm about to take my first ever automobile for a drive. Hot dog, isn't this a beaut? Really cool. So, how does it start? This crank will make sparks that help start the engine. The engine started. Yeah. It looks like your car can only fit two people. And no seatbelts? Hmm. Seatbelts keep you safe. Hot dog. Seatbelts? Okay, let's go. To the top of that hill. my question. What were the first cars like? You had to turn a crank to start it. Cars only had two seats. And you pulled a hand lever for the brakes. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, great grandpa Blippi. Happy and safe driving. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Coming up, we're going to meet flamingos and some special animals called ambassador animals. Let's check them out. So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout, Flippy! <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy, and look at where I'm at today. Today, I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Have you ever been to a zoo? Yeah, they're so great. You can see big animals, small animals, even insects if you want. Yeah, I am so excited. Let's go! Whoa, we're in the back of a habitat. This is so cool. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, looks like some animal snacks. Yum! <laughs> okay, I'll put that down right there. Wow, and this is this animal's real food. Yeah, this is what they eat on the daily. Hey, check it out. See this right here? Yeah, you just put some powder in right there, swirl it around, and this is what this animal loves to eat every day. Okay, let me put this back right here. But hey, did you see what we saw right here? Whoa, looks like a feather. This must come from the animal that's in this habitat. Hmm. Yeah, feather. Birds have feathers. And do you see? It's the color pink. Whoa! Do you know what animal, bird, is the color pink? Yeah, flamingos! Okay, let me set this down right here. <laughs> and then let's grab the snacks and let's go see if we can find the flamingos. Oh, hey, it's John! Hey! Oh, hi, Blippi. How are you? Good. Welcome to our flamingo exhibit. Thank you. What are you doing? I'm um, just raking up the feathers. Oh. And these are our flamingos. Oh, do you see the flamingos? Wow. Do you mind if I get a closer look at them? No, go ahead. All right. Whoa. Hey, let's take a closer look at the flamingos. Oh, hello, flamingos. Hey! Wow. These flamingos are so pretty. Whoa, did you know that when flamingos are born, they're the color white? Yeah, gray? Yeah, whitish gray. And then, when they get older, they turn the color pink. Because the food that they eat has a lot of pink in it. Whoa, that is so cool. And you see how tall their legs are? Whoa, they're so long. An adult flamingo, the legs are taller than the whole rest of the body. Wow! That is so crazy. Hey, and do you see how their legs are bending backwards? Yeah, us humans, our legs bend forward. But then, flamingos 
their legs bend backwards. And you're probably like, whoa, those are some flexible knees. <laughs> but hey, let me tell you a really cool fact. Do you see that little area right in the center of their legs? Yeah, it looks like their knee. That is actually the flamingo's ankle. Whoa, that's crazy. Well, hey, I think we should throw some of these snacks in the water and see if the flamingos come. Okay. <laughs> All right, here you go. It's the Animal Ambassador Show. This place is awesome! Hey, what's your name? I'm Susie. Oh, nice to meet you. And who is this? This is Harry. And Harry is a striped skunk. Wow, striped skunk? Yeah, I see black and white. Why are they striped like that? Well, those stripes allow them to alert any predators in the area that he is a skunk. And if they've been around a skunk before, they definitely would not want to get sprayed again. Oh, yeah. Wait, you said spray. Is that the smell that you sometimes smell when you're driving? You've got it, yeah, it's a really strong smell and you can't mistake it if you've smelled it before and you definitely can't mistake it if you've been sprayed. <laughs> yeah, so why do they spray again? It's their way of defending themselves. So if a skunk feels threatened, the first thing that Harry might do is do some forward charges or some handstands and that says, hey, don't mess with me, more bad things are coming and if the animal proceeds to come forward, they might get sprayed. Oh, so it sounds like Harry's a gym gymnast with its handstands. That's funny. What's Harry eating? Today he is eating insects. He loves bugs, he loves vegetables, fruit. He even eats meat too. Wow, Harry is so cool. I love skunks. <laughs> This is Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Whoa, Eduardo is a three-banded armadillo. Whoa, and it looks like he's eating some insects. Those look so yummy for him. <laughs> I actually got permission to go inside, but he's actually probably gonna think my shoes are really cool because they smell. So let me go inside and see if he is curious. Hello. Hey, how are you? Whoa, do you see him? Whoa, he has a very hard shell. Yeah, three banded armadillos are ones that can go all the way in a ball. But he's not doing that right now because that is a defensive mechanism. Yeah, he's actually really comfortable right now. <laughs> hey, do you see how he's just sniffing around? Oh, he is so cute and his fingernails are so long, or toenails, and he has some cute little hairs coming out the bottom. <laughs> Whoa, look at him go. Whoa, check it out. Look, this is a hawk. But wait a second, who are you? My name is Lindsay. I am an ambassador animal keeper. Wow, what, what's the name of this hawk? This is Cisco. He is a 32-year-old Paris's hawk. Wow, Cisco is so pretty. Wow, I love the wings. Does it have big wings or thin or small? Or? He has big, broad wings that are good for soaring, but not very good for diving fast. Oh, wow. Do they live together or alone? <laughs> Harris's hawks are very special because they live in family groups with other hawks. Most birds of prey live by themselves. Oh, wow. And I like Cisco's eyes. What's unique about them? Harris's hawks and other birds of prey have really great eyesight. That is so cool. And I like its beak. Look at it. It's like, it looks so sharp. Can I take a closer look at it? Sure. Whoa. Check out Cisco. Wow. Whoa, so majestic. Wow. Hey, Cisco. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. 
another amazing animal. Whoa, this is a burrowing owl. Whoa, what's his name? This is Papu. Oh, nice to meet you, Papu. I'm Flippy. Do you see Papu's eyes? They're so big and yellow. Wow, does that mean they can see good? Owls have excellent eyesight. Wow, and Papu is so small. Is it a little baby? No, Papu is full grown. Whoa. Is it like other owls where they go out at night and look for food? So other owls are nocturnal, which means they're awake at night, but Papu is diurnal. He's awake during the day. Whoa, that is so cool. Papu is so cute. Wow, I just want to pet him. He's so cute, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Can I take a closer look? Sure. Check it out. This is Anahi. Yeah, she is so pretty. Wow, do you see her tongue poking out? Yeah, she pushes her tongue out of her mouth every now and then to smell. Isn't that crazy? We use our nose to smell, but she uses her tongue to smell. Yeah, and she is a red tail boa constrictor. Whoa. Look at her, just wrapped up in a tree like this, all comfortable. Whoa, hello. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I hope she is having a great day. Whoa, she is so big. Right now, she is about seven feet tall. Yeah, that's about 2.3 meters long. Whoa, but she actually gets a lot bigger. She'll even get bigger than this. Whoa, yeah. She can get about 12 feet tall. That's about four meters long. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> wow, check it out. This is blue and blue is a blue tongued skink. Whoa, she looks like a snake, doesn't she? Yeah, a snake with legs, <laughs> but she's not. She's actually a lizard. Whoa, she is so cool looking. Whoa, do you see her tongue? Yeah, it's the color blue. That makes sense. I bet predators think that that tongue could be poisonous. Yeah. Whoa, and do you see her ears? Wow, I bet she can hear really good. <laughs> Whoa, geez, how are you? Are you having a good day? <laughs> Whoa. Wow, look, this is Tut and this is Cairo. Whoa, look at them, hey. They are Egyptian tortoises. Yeah, when I hear tortoise, I think of a big turtle, but these are actually full size. Whoa, where are you two going? I wonder if they're hungry. <laughs> they actually live in the desert, yeah. Whoa, that makes sense because Egyptian tortoises. Whoa, look, they're following each other. Whoa, that looks fun. <laughs> Whoa, hello penguin. Hey, did you see that? That was a cute penguin. Whoa, hasn't this been so much fun at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington today? Yeah. I had a lot of fun seeing all these great animals. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Whoa, what a great animal. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P Blippi, good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. Hey, it's a garbage truck. I can see it and <laughs> smell it too. Wow, Tabs, even you think it's stinky. 
and you're a robot. Wait, where's that buzzing sound coming from? Oh, flies! Hey, those flies just flew into the garbage truck. Hmm, I wonder why do flies love garbage? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the garbage truck to find out the answer. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why flies love garbage. Shrinking down! Hold your breath, Tabs. We're going in. I'm in the garbage truck. Welcome! <laughs> I'm Horace the Fly! Looks like your first time here, hmm? Hi, Horace. It's me, Blippi. This is my first visit to a garbage truck. <laughs> Little stinky, huh? <gasps> Not for me. I love smells. Follow me. I'll show you around. This place is like my playground. <laughs> Whoopsies! Sorry about that. Hey, Horace. Why do flies love garbage? Because it's delicious and garbage makes me fly. We've got stinky beans, moldy cheese, greasy pizza boxes, and even leftover mystery mush. <laughs> Sorry, must have been the beans. I could give you a ride to the nearest garden or fly restaurant. Horace! Where are you? Everything's coming up! Garbage! Oh, is that cake? Oh, no, that was not cake. Still good, though. Got a dash and eat all the trash. Horace has more energy now. Aha! Which means I think I have the answer to why flies like garbage. It's because they love the smell and they find food there. That's so silly. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Yes, sir, Bippy. For me, a garbage truck is a 24 7 all I can eat restaurant. Woohoo! Go, Horace. Thanks. Cheers, Blippi. to ride some really cool water slides. <laughs> yeah, at Not Soap City in Buena Park, California. <laughs> yeah. But before we can go on the water slides, we need to get all geared up. Let's put on our swimsuit. Oh, <laughs> look, I'm in my swimsuit. Hmm, there's one thing we're forgetting. <laughs> sunscreen. We need to make sure we put on our sunscreen before we do any kind of swimming. <laughs> okay, here we go. don't want to get a sunburn. <laughs> Whoa, get your hands and your legs and I'm gonna spray some on my hand. Put it on my face. <laughs> now we're all ready to do some swimming and ride some water slides. Come on. Silly. Whoa, do you see this place? There are so many cool things here. Let's go check it out. Come on. Whoa, look at it. 
there are so many things here, like a lazy river. Whoa, <laughs> hello, it's so lazy. <laughs> and a giant water slide. Hmm. Maybe we could do that. Oh, or we could do this. <laughs> Whoa, what's back there? Hmm. Let's see if we can see. Do you see it? Look, there's a turtle with some fish. Hmm, maybe we could do that too. Whoa, but do you see this? It's a giant lighthouse. Whoa, <laughs> it's so big. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. Lighthouses are so cool because they have really big and bright lights. Yeah, bright lights and the lights help to tell fishermen and other boats where the shore is so they don't have an accident on the rocks. Mm -hmm. Helps to keep all the boats really safe. <laughs> well, I think the lighthouse is pretty cool. Oh, what do you see that behind me? Yeah, that's the beach house. Ooh. <laughs> and the beach house has so many fun things to explore. Let's go check it out. Come on. I'm so excited, come on. Whoa, but before we go up to the big slides on the beach house, we need to make sure that we're this tall. <laughs> Looks like we are. And we need to go barefoot, which means I can't wear my water shoes. Nope, <laughs> we'll take them off. One shoe, two shoes. <laughs> Okay, we'll leave him here and put him on later. <laughs> Whoa, look at it up here. There are so many water things and it's really loud. Whoa, <laughs> look at this. When you press this button, it puts water in this really cool bucket. And then when it fills, all the way to the top, <laughs> we can throw it out. Woo! <laughs> Ooh, that's really fun. Don't get too splashed. Come on. Ooh, look at it up here. It's so pretty. And hey, look who it is. The lifeguard. <laughs> Hello, I'm Lippy. What's your name? I'm Lippy. I'm Ashley. Ooh, hi, Ashley. Ashley is a lifeguard. Yeah, lifeguards are really important because they help keep you and I safe when we go swimming or if we're at a really fun water park. <laughs> hey, I bet Ashley knows how to keep us safe. Let's ask her. <laughs> hi, Ashley. How can we stay safe when we're here at the water park? Oh, well, Blippi, ways you can stay safe include always wearing sunscreen when you're out in the sun. Okay. Making sure you have a parent's permission before you go anywhere near the water, and make sure there's a lifeguard on stand to help keep you safe as well. Ooh. And always make sure you wear a Coast Guard-approved life jacket. Oh, okay. Whoa, those are a lot of things. Well, first, we put on our sunscreen. <laughs> so you don't get a sunburn. And you always want to be with a grown-up and make sure a lifeguard's on duty. Hmm, you should also wear a life jacket. If you're swimming in a pool. Another really good thing is learning how to swim. <laughs> yeah, I love swimming. It's so much fun. Well, now that we learned how to be safe, I think it's time to go down the really big slide, the beach house. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think we're all ready, Ashley. All righty, whenever you're ready, Blippi. Thanks, Ashley. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Woo. <laughs> Whoa, I'm all wet. <laughs> that was so much fun. 
fun! <laughs> hey, let's see if we can explore some more of the beach house. Come on! Woo! Look at this place! It's so cool! There are so many water guns and spouts. <laughs> let's go see what we can find. Colors. <laughs> I bet you and I would have a really fun time if we go over there to the colorful slides. Look, there's so many different types, like orange and blue. <laughs> Let's go! Look at all the slides! Hey, and check this out! Whoa! This is a tube! <laughs> and this is what we're gonna use to ride down some of these slides. <laughs> Hello! Woo! <laughs> Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah! This is a really big circle! Woo! <laughs> well, before we get in the tube, we need to decide what slide are we going to go down? There are so many different kinds. Look at them all. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the water's going so fast. And they're all different colors. Hmm. <laughs> what color slide do you see? Hmm. Yeah, look. I see a slide that's the color green. <laughs> Good job. Do you see any other colors? Hmm. Whoa, look over here. Yeah, there's a slide that's the color yellow. <laughs> hmm, you see any other colors? Yeah, I see a couple more colors too. My favorite color, the color blue. Well, this right here looks like a rainbow. There are so many different colors. Blue and green and red and orange. Whoa. <laughs> They all sound really, really fun. Hmm, I wonder what slide we're gonna go down. <laughs> I'm so excited and it's gonna be so much fun. Okay, let's go sliding. <laughs> yeah, okay, here we go. here. <laughs> and look, it's a shipwreck. Oh, well, let's go see if there's some buried treasure. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, look at it. Do you see this? <laughs> it's a treasure chest. <laughs> Should I open it up 
let's see what's inside? <laughs> okay, let's see what's in this treasure chest. Whoa! It's buried treasure! It's all kinds of really cool gems <laughs> and coins. Ooh. Gold coins. <laughs> I feel like a pirate. Okay. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we see if this treasure chest sink or floats? Okay, let's see if it sinks or floats. Whoa, look at it. This treasure chest, it floats. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, I didn't think this treasure chest would float. I thought it would sink because it's kind of heavy and it's filled with all kinds of gems and coins. Hey, treasure chest, treasure hunt. What if you and I went on a scavenger treasure hunt and we found all types of things and see if they sink or float? Oh, that would be so much fun. Okay, I'll leave the treasure chest here for later and let's go see what else we can discover. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Do you see any objects that we could use for sink or float? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, good job. Really good eyes. I see a flip flop that's kind of a pinkish red. <laughs> Let's go check it out. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> okay. Let's see if this flip-flop sinks or floats. <laughs> oh, that's silly. It floats too. Hmm, we have a treasure chest and a flip-flop. What else can we find? Hmm, oh look. It's a puffer fish. <laughs> puffer fishes are so cute. <laughs> Hello, hello, Blippi. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing really good. Well, do you sink or float? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> he floats too. Bye bye. <laughs> Whoa! Look at this. <laughs> Whoa! It's really shady now. <laughs> hmm, this is an umbrella, and it's red and white. It looks like a really tasty candy cane. <gasps> I love candy canes. <laughs> Let's see if it sinks or floats. Whoa, it also floats. Ooh. Let's see if we can find something that sinks. <laughs> I bet we will. Whoa! This is a really scary shark! <laughs> Just kidding, this shark is really friendly and cute. Hello! Hello, shark! <laughs> He's our friend. And look, on his back, he has this. Whoa, I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like seaweed. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, and it's the colors green, blue, and orange. <laughs> Let's see if it sinks or floats. Whoa, look at it. It sinks all the way to the bottom. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. We finally found something that sinks. Hmm, but we're not done yet. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. <laughs> Hello, he's wearing a hat or a visor so the sun doesn't get in his eyes. <laughs> hmm. You mind if I borrow your visor? <laughs> ah, thanks. Let's see if this sinks or floats. What do you think? Do you think this red and white visor will sink or float? Let's find out. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. The top part floats 
but the bottom part is kind of heavy, so it sinks. Hmm, it's kind of suspended in the water. Whoa. <laughs> hey, do you see all those animals over there? What kind of animals are those? Hmm, <laughs> that's right. Look, there are two turtles. One turtle, two turtles, and there are two crabs. One crab, two crabs. <laughs> Ooh, let's see if maybe they're hiding something that we can use to sink or float. <laughs> This turtle has an inflatable hammock on its back. Whoa. And this crab has a teeny tiny shark. Hmm. Let's see if both of these green and white objects, yeah, they're both the color green and white. Let's see if they sink or float. Hmm. First, we'll do the hammock. Here we go. It floats, yeah. And now, our shark. Here we go, good luck. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, the shark swam all the way to the bottom and sunk. <laughs> now, let's see what else. Hello, <laughs> excuse me. Whoa, look at this, hello. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Yeah, this is a life ring. And this helps you in case you need to float in the ocean. <laughs> Do you know what shape this life ring is? <laughs> yeah, it's a circle. Ooh, and it's the color orange and white. Ooh, okay, let's see if this sinks or floats. Whoa, <laughs> look, it floats, yeah. Oh, hello, Mr. Turtle. Look at this turtle, it's so cool. Its shell is yellow, red, and really dark green. Ooh, <laughs> so many colors. And it has a little fish on its back. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> hello, fish. You think this fish will sink or float? Let's see. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> it sunk! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Look at what it is! It's a giant octopus on top of a yellow submarine! <laughs> Submarines are really cool vehicles that go under the water. <laughs> they sink, but sometimes the people driving the submarine need to get out, so it floats all the way to the top. Submarines sink, but they also float. <laughs> Let's see if some other objects are hiding inside the submarine. <laughs> Oh, look at it. <laughs> oh, this one's kind of stuck. Oh, oh. Whoa, ooh, do you know what these are? Yeah, these right here are pool noodles. <laughs> and they're my favorite colors, orange and blue. <laughs> do you think these pool noodles will sink or float? I guess we'll have to test it out, okay? One, two, three! <laughs> they float! Whoa! <laughs> Do you see what it is? It's a little red fish. Hello, hello! <laughs> but then it's a ring. There's a big circle inside the fish. <laughs> He's so cute. I wonder if this fish, that's also a ring, will sink or float. And hey, look! It has some friends. We have one fish, two fish, three fish, and four fish. 
Okay, I'm gonna drop them all at the same time to see if they sink or float. Whoa! Look at it! We have a yellow and red fish. Wait a minute, look! Are they gonna sink? Are they gonna float? Whoa! That was so cool! The blue fish and the green fish, they sunk right away. But the yellow and red fish were floating. <laughs> but then they all sunk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> hey, I think we should go inside the yellow submarine and see if we can find anything else. <laughs> Look, it's a pail. A watering can or a watering pail. Yeah, if you have any plants, you want to keep them nice and healthy and strong? Yeah, you just give them a little water. <laughs> Do you think this will sink or float? Okay, let's see. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, it floats. But maybe if it fills up with water... Nope, <laughs> it still floats, even if it has some water in it. <laughs> Whoa! I think I forgot something. Do you see this over here? Well, let's see if this will sink or float. <laughs> I think this will be really exciting and cool because it's so big. <laughs> okay, stay right here. I'll be right back. It's so big. Whoa, look at this. This ball is so big. <laughs> this is the biggest beach ball I've ever seen. <laughs> Do you think it will sink or float? Okay. Let's find out! <laughs> Woo! It floats! <laughs> it floats! Bye-bye! Ah! <laughs> it's floating away. <laughs> that was so much fun finding out if all those things sink or float. Hmm, but there's still one thing we haven't tested to see if it sinks or floats. <laughs> I'm so excited for this last thing. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Hello. Hello! Sink or float! Sink or float. One, more One more time! Whoa! That was so much fun! And hey, look! I float! But that's because I know how to swim. <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun! <laughs> Whoa! We've gone on so many fun slides today. Looks like we have time for one more. <laughs> Bonsai Falls! Bonsai Falls! <laughs> this is gonna be awesome! Come on! <laughs> well, the slides we've been on before have had tubes and just sliding down just with ourselves. But Bonsai Falls has this really cool mat. Come on. Look at this. Yeah, I'm going to hold on like this. And instead of going feet first like all the other slides, I'm going to go head first. Whoa, it's so topsy-turvy. <laughs> OK, I think we're all ready to go on the slide. Come on. Oh. Hey, Ashley. Hi. Oh, she got here really fast. <laughs> Come on. the day with you here at this really fun water park was really fun too. We learned so much. We made sure we put on our sunscreen and 
we learn so much about safety from Ashley the lifeguard. <laughs> yeah! And we went down really tall big slides! Woo! <laughs> well, that's the end of this episode. But if you want to watch more of my episodes, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah! Okay, here we go! B-L-I- P-P-I! Flippy! <laughs> Good job! Well, I'll see you real soon! I'm gonna go down the slide again! Whoa! That was a gigantic truck! You're right, Debo! I think that was a monster truck! Hmm, I wonder, what makes a monster truck special? Good idea! We can catch up with that monster truck and find out! I'm gonna need monster truck wheels! Monster truck wheels confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Debo? Whoa, Debo! You have the monster truck wheels attachment? <laughs> You're like a monster truck! All right, let's ride! Debo the monster truck is ready for adventure! Crash! Crash! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo! You really crushed that car! Hi, Blippi, I'm Megan. So, Megan, we're here to find out what makes a monster truck special. Cool. Well, I think the best way to answer your question is to show you what I do. Great! You see, I'm a monster truck with big, tall monster tires. I'm 13 feet tall! Wow! Let's do this! All right! <laughs> huh? Huh? Crash! Ah. We can't bounce as high as you, Megan! And oh boy, we're almost tipping over! Well, I have heavy duty suspension, which are special springs, so I can bounce way up and down and not tumble over. <laughs> I use them when I race and have competitions. Cool! Whoa. Whoa. Yeah! Welcome aboard, Flippy! Buckle up! It's time to dominate the obstacle course! Whoa! 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 This is awesome! Whoa. How can you turn and zigzag so fast? I have something called four-wheel steering, so I can turn all four Whoa. wheels at once, instead of just two wheels like a lot of regular trucks. Us monster trucks are built for short, high-powered bursts of speed! I nailed that! Megan, that was amazing! And I have the answer to my question. What makes a monster truck special? Monster trucks are a special kind of truck with big tires, heavy duty suspension, and four wheel steering. Upload answer, Debo. Bye, Megan. It was so cool to ride with you. Bye, Blippi. Keep on crushing. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Blippi, and today I'm at PD Bakery in Seattle, Washington. Whoa, look at this place. Whoa, it's so cool. Yeah, we're in the back. Yeah, this is called a kitchen. Oh, and look at what it is. Wow, look at it. <laughs> wow, this is an apron. Ooh, check it out. Look at those flowers. Yeah. This apron is gonna help keep me nice and clean when I bake. Yep, I sure ate a lot of vegetables today. Yep, and now that I ate a bunch of healthy food, we can have something yummy and sweet. I am so excited. <laughs> Let's go. Wow, look 
look at this place. Whoa, there's so many cool things. Yeah, like a measuring cup. Yeah, you can put things in there and then know how much of an ingredient you have exactly in this measuring cup. Whoa, or a giant spoon. Whoa, you can stir a lot of stuff with that. Whoa, whoa, and look at this. Yeah, a spatula. Boing. <laughs> That's so cool. There for now. Whoa! Looks like we have some vinegar. Yum! <laughs> okay, there we go. Wow, come on. Whoa! A giant sink! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> this is where I clean a lot of dishes. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, speaking of cleaning dishes. Whoa! Hello! Look! This is a dishwasher! You put a lot of dirty dishes right here, and then you close it down. <laughs> yeah! That is awesome! Whoa! Whoa! Check it out! This is a stove top. Whoa! You can cook so much food right here! Whoa! There's so many stove tops! Whoa! Do you see the little fire right there? Yeah, this is not a toy. You need to be very careful when you're cooking. <laughs> Whoa! Yum! Yeah! Look at these sweet treats. Wow, these are macarons, and they look so yummy. Look at this one. This one is the color red. Whoa! Looks like we have some green, and some blue, and some orange. Whoa, look, I'll grab an orange and a blue. <laughs> My two favorite colors. Oh, I'll eat these later. <laughs> Whoa, we have some black sesame cookies. Yum. Woo, and some ube cookies. Yum, check these out. Open these up. Wow, what color is that? Yeah, the color purple. Yeah, there's no food coloring in this. That, yeah, that is the color of the food that was added into this cookie. That is so cool. <laughs> okay, we'll put that right there for me to eat later. <laughs> oh, look at these cute things. Looks like, what animal is that? Moo! Moo! Yeah! A cow! Woo! A vanilla cake? Yeah! Blippi party cake! Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I! Blippi! Yeah! And a triple chocolate cake! That looks so yummy! Well, hey, maybe you and I can cook and bake some of this! Yeah! How about today we make some macarons? Yeah! Whoa, check it out. I'm washing my hands and I'm scrubbing them for 20 seconds. Yeah, do you know how long 20 seconds is? Yeah, it's about the same length as when you sing the ABCs. Will you sing with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Hey, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's rinse them all off. Wow, oh, nice and clean now. <laughs> okay, perfect. Shut off the water. Oh, wow. And now I'm ready to make some delicious treats. <laughs> oh, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm the baker for Candy Bakery. Whoa, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Are these the ingredients? Yeah, these are some ingredients for some macarons. Ooh, well, what do we have here? Well, first we have eggs 
and we have almond flour, we have sugar, and we have an important ingredient called salt. And when you eat it, it's really salty, but when you put it in desserts, it actually makes it sweeter and tastier. Ooh, that sounds so yummy! And you said almond flour. Why are we using that rather than all-purpose flour? So almond flour is special because when you put it in macarons, it makes it less sticky than flour and makes it really light. Wow, that is so cool. Well, hey, do you mind if I mix all these ingredients? Yeah, how about you throw all the ingredients into a bowl and throw it into the mixer and I'll go get the oven ready. Okay, woohoo! All right, let's mix all the ingredients together and then we'll put it in the mixer. <laughs> all right, first, let's uh, add the salt. Perfect. And then we'll add the sugar. Then, the almond flour. Whoa! Hey, check it out! A small bowl, medium, and large. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. <laughs> and for the eggs. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I probably have to break them open. All right, here we go. Now, I'm gonna go put it in the mixer. Yeah! Whoa! Hey, check it out! This is a massive mixing machine! Whoa! Look how big it is! There's a giant whisk right here. Wow! Looks like there's a green on button, a red stop button, and a big bowl for me to add all the ingredients. All right, here we go. Pour it in. Looks like we already made some earlier. Yeah, this is gonna be a big batch. Oh. <laughs> all right, now that all the ingredients are in there, we need to make sure that the cover is closed. We need to raise up the bowl. There we go, and now, we need to turn this to the on position. There we go. And we'll push the green start button in three, two, one. Yeah! Look at it mix. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, the batter is finished. Whoa, this is a big bowl. Okay, the next step that we need to do, yeah, is take some of this batter and put it inside these piping bags. Yeah, what shape is this piping bag? Oh, yeah, it looks like a triangle. Perfect. And do you see how you open it up? Yeah, and that's where you put all the batter. But hey, check it out. Yeah, we have some batter already in a piping bag. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, Jennifer, now that we have the batter in the piping bags, what do we do now? Well, first we need to cut the bag. Okay. 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 And we're going to make some cow macarons. Oh! To do that, first, you're going to need one big circle. Okay. We're gonna make cow macarons. And we need a big circle for, is that the head? That's gonna be the head, yeah. Okay. And then we need two small circles on the top for its ears. Okay. That is not how I want it. <laughs> That's funny. That's okay. Okay, I see it. Yeah, the head and then two ears. Here, let me try. All right. There we go. Yeah, it's just like that. And then, one ear, two ears. <laughs> Perfect. That's going to be one great cow. <laughs> okay, do we fill it up now? Yeah, let's fill up the whole pan. All right, let's do it. Yeah! That was 
so much fun! <laughs> yeah, now that we're done, why don't you throw them into the oven for 20 minutes and I'll get the buttercream ready. Okay! Alright, so I need to throw these in the oven for 20 minutes? Whoa! Alright, so I'm gonna put on these safety gloves. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Here we go! Wow! I used my safety gloves because ovens are not a toy. You need to be very careful. Okay, what did Jennifer say? She said 20 minutes. Oh, that's a long time. Wait! But wait a second. You know what I like to do when I wait? Yeah! I like to dance! Woohoo! means that they're probably done! <laughs> yeah! Let's open it up and then see the macrons. <laughs> Whoa! Woohoo! That is hot! Whoa! And they look so yummy! Wow! Check it out! Now it's time to decorate! Looks like so much fun! Hey, can I try? Sure, Blippi. You want to give it a try? Sure. Okay. Uh, well, looks like we have three colors here. We have black, and then, uh, looks like we have white, and then looks like we have the color pink. Let's see. What are we making? Oh, yeah! Remember these from earlier? Yeah, a cow! A cute cow! Moo! Yeah, it has two eyes, has two ears, has some spots, and a really cute nose. <laughs> okay, let's put that down right here. I'm gonna start with the black. All right, looks like I'll do two eyes. And we need to do the spots. Cute little hair thing on top. <laughs> okay, so now let me move to the color pink. <laughs> All right, looks like pink. We put it on the ears, and it's the base for the nose. Last but not least, the color white. <laughs> and we just put a little, uh oh, I put a little too much, but that's okay. There we go. <laughs> How does it look? Yeah, does that look like a cow? Moo! Moo! <laughs> wow, that looks so good. <laughs> All right, let's keep on decorating. Whoa, check it out! Yeah, a blippy party cake. Yum! <laughs> Whoa, what are these? Yeah, macarons. Yum, they're so tasty. What is this though? Yeah, does it look like my bow tie? Yeah, it's an orange blippy macaron bow tie. And it looks so tasty, doesn't it? Yeah, well hey, check this out. I have two things of icing. My two favorite colors, blue and orange. And check it out. I have a flippy macron that's empty, no colors at all. So maybe, just maybe, we can use some of this icing to decorate it. So my normal bow tie is orange, but I'm actually gonna use some blue too. So let's just squirt some out. Whoa, that looks cool. Let's do a big dot there, do a big dot there. How about one right there? Oh, and one way over there. Whoa, that 
doesn't look like my bow tie, does it? No, that's okay though. Sometimes when you're being creative, yeah, actually all the times when you're being creative, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, like this. Woohoo! Check it out. Whoa. Yum. Doesn't that look tasty? Yum. And hey, watch this. I'm going to do another big blob. Yeah, a blue. Oh, I will just finish that all the way across there. And then I'll put some orange on top of that. Wow. Now, does that look tasty? Or does that look tasty? Yum! <laughs>
<laughs> Let's go! Whoa! Whee! <laughs> All right, before I ride this bicycle, I should probably wear my helmet. Safety first. Whoop. Here we go. All right, let's explore this sweet town. How about we learn the parts of the bicycle? All right, as you know, I'm wearing a helmet. That's the first part of the bicycle. Well, it's not part of the bicycle, but if you're gonna ride a bicycle, you need a helmet. And these are the handlebars right here. Handlebars, see? This is what you hang on to while you're riding and you steer, just like a steering wheel in a car. Whee, whee. <laughs> <laughs> and then the yellow part is the frame. That is what holds all the parts of the bicycle together. This is the seat. This is where you sit down on the bicycle. And this seat is really soft and padded. Makes it really comfortable. And then we have two wheels and tires. And then down here, these are the pedals. When you turn these, then the back wheel turns around. Watch. See it spin? Whoa! And the brakes on this actually are the pedals too. Ready? Watch. See when you go forward this way with the pedals. Yeah counterclockwise if you're looking that way, but then clockwise if you're looking this way. So if you go forward, pedaling forward, the bike will go forward. But if you pedal backward this way, then the bike will stop. Some bikes have brakes at the handlebars right up here, but not this one. <laughs> and look, right here, you can mount stuff. This is a little platform for groceries or pizza or vegetables or I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, I should probably get my helmet back on. So then we can continue to explore. Oh, what a cool little town this is. <laughs> All right, here we go. Whoa, do you see how I'm riding this bike on grass? It's actually made for sidewalks and roads and things that are really smooth. Yeah, this is a street bike, but they do make other kind of bikes like mountain bikes. Whoa, whoa, that's a lot better for going over rough terrain like this. <laughs> Whee! Whoa! <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is the quarry pool. Hey, let me show you what it's like in here. This used to be a giant hill that came out to here, but then people way in the past dug it out and it's about a hundred feet. That's about 33 meters deep. Yeah, so you cannot touch the bottom. Whoa, whoa. You can actually swim in this place. Wow, and a waterfall over there. This definitely looks like a fun place to swim. Whoa! 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 I think my bike is broken! 
Oh, hey, perfect. This town has a bike stand with a bunch of tools on it. All right, first thing we need to do is put the bike right up here. Oh, perfect. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. Ring, it looks like it's doing a wheelie. Ring, ring. <laughs> All right, enough of playing. We need to get to work so we can fix it. Check this out. Looks like we have some Allen wrenches. Oh, and then we have a flat head screwdriver. We have a Phillips or standard screwdriver. We even have a wrench. And there's so many tools. But I think the problem is the tire is flat. So let's take this off. And this is how you fill up the tire. Put it right here. And then you can see this is how you pump it up. Oh, perfect. I think now it's ready to go. Hey, I think this is the perfect time for the tool song. <laughs> when you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. The wrench tightens pipes going clang, clang. A hammer hits a nail going bang, bang, bang. A drill is making holes going zzz, zzz. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Cutting wires with some pliers going snip, snip. Cutting paper with some scissors going clip, clip. When you're working with tools, you've got to be real safe by wearing gloves on your hands and goggles on your face. And boys and girls, when you're working with tools, always follow mom and dad's safety rules. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Whoa, check it out. We are at the stone carving shop where you can buy carvings. <laughs> hey, who are you? What's your name? Wyatt. Wyatt? What are you doing right here? Carving stone. Carving stone. Whoa, okay, so you take the chisel yep. and then you use the mallet and then you hit it yep. like a hammer and a nail. Here we go. Oh, check that out. Yeah. All right, now your turn. Oh, you want to color it in? Yes. All right. Wow, that is so awesome. Can I go explore your shop? All right, let's go. How are you two? Oh, doing great. Wonderful weather today. Yep, what's your names? My name's Ian Williams. I'm uh, the father to Wyatt right here. I'm Keith. Ooh, that's really cool. Nice to meet you two. Keith, you want to show me around? Well, uh, we have uh, various items on the wall here for our customers.
It looks like Wyatt and his crew carved all of these out of stone with that, that mallet and that pointy metal thing. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. What does this look like? This looks like an apple, but it's actually carved out of stone. <laughs> That's really cool. Well, let's continue to explore the town. Yeah! station right now. Do you know what kind of vehicles are at the fire station? Yeah, they have ambulances, they have fire engines. Hey, check them out. Whoa, these are so cool. Wow. Whoa, there's a real fire engine right here. And someone needs help. Can I go on the fire call? Why, sure, Blippi. Okay. All right. So that means we get to go help someone, and we get to go on the fire call. Hey, first things first. Safety first. I first need to buckle up. All right. Now that I'm all buckled up, I'm going to get ready so we can go on the fire call. I'm going to put it into gear and then I'm gonna take it out of the parking brake so now we can go forward all right let's go save those people all right I think they need a lot of help so let's go seen a police car before but right now I'm driving a police truck <laughs> all right let me park this thing right on the grass right here <laughs> all right so now we can explore the rest of the town <laughs> <Woo> -hoo! <laughs> remember the yellow bike all right it's a great way to travel the town and it helps the environment okay here we go wait a second why am I not moving? Oh, <laughs> right over here. <laughs> All right, here we go. That was so much fun going on this bike adventure with you in Tenino, Washington. They definitely have a really cool town here. And it's so great that they have these yellow bikes for people to use for free. That is awesome. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy! Good job! All right, see you again! Bye-bye! Easy! Careful now! Whoa! I'm hungry! Ah, this cereal is soggy! Hmm, I wonder, why does cereal get soggy? Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and find out. I'm gonna need 
Wings, duck feet, and the grabber arm. Wings, duck feet, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! You're right, Diva! It sure is hard! Attention! Whoa! Huh? Who are you? I'm Scooper the Spoon! That's Sergeant Scooper the Spoon to you! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Devo. We're here to learn why cereal gets soggy. Well, you came to the best of the best. These crunchy pieces of cereal are as hard as nails. The only problem is we got incoming milk in T-minus 30 seconds. What huh? happens then? The cereal gets all wet, Blippi. At first, it may seem like cereal is 100% solid, but if you look closely, it's actually porous. That means full of tiny little holes. Good idea, Debo. I'll go gather some intel, and you stay here on the lookout. Shrinking down again! It's like a cave made of cereal. All those holes you're flying through are open space for milk to fill and make the cereal soggy. Then it expands and falls huh? apart. Milk in command! Whoa! The cereal is falling apart! Time to get out of here! Growing up! No time to float around! We've got a cereal rescue mission to huh? complete! Now that the milk has infiltrated the cereal, we've got to scoop fast before the cereal gets soggy. We're on it. Oh, no! I got it! You see, in the few minutes the cereal has been in milk, it has absorbed the liquid through the hole. A lot like how a sponge absorbs water. With your help, we got all the cereal out safely. Well done, troops. Thanks, Sergeant Scooper. And I got the answer to my question. Why does cereal get soggy? Cereal gets soggy when milk fills in the tiny holes of the cereal and causes it to expand and fall apart. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi. Bye-bye, Sergeant Scooper. Thanks for the scoop. Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi. I have all of my camping gear because today you and I are going camping. Whoa, I love the outdoors. Oh, it's so beautiful. There's so many plants and stumps and trees. Whoa, look at this. An insect. That looks like a caterpillar. Whoa, hello, caterpillar. <laughs> All right, we should probably keep going so we can get to our campsite before dark. <laughs> oh, hey, look at this beautiful plant. See this? This is a fern. Wow, look at it. It's the color green. Hey, and here's a tree back here. Oh, excuse me, fern. Look, right here, this is a tree. Yeah, you know what a tree is. There's some bark on it and also some moss. Look how tall the tree is. It's a lot taller than me, huh? <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can find here. Wow. Hey, look, another insect. Hello, that looks like a dragonfly. Hello, dragonfly. How are you doing today? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's continue on. Oh, 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 oh look! <laughs> a spider! Hey, spider! Are you having a good day? Here, I'm gonna move you right over here so then I don't step on you. <laughs> All right, 
Here we go! <laughs> oh, wait a second. We have some more insects. What kind of insects are these? These are praying mantises. Wow, they are so cool. Look, this is what they look like. Hello, I'm a praying mantis, hi. <laughs> okay, Whew. I think we're almost there. I'm getting a little tired. Whoa, check it out. This looks like the perfect campsite. Wow. All right, let's go over here and then take off all of our equipment. There we go. There we go. Oh, I think I need some water. <laughs> all right, I'm just unpacking all of my camping gear. Yeah. Can't forget the marshmallows. Yeah, this is for the s'mores later. Ooh, and the graham crackers. Ooh, and the chocolate. Have you ever had a s'more before? S'more before, <laughs> that rhymes, that's silly. Ooh, and my s'more roaster. <laughs> Ooh, and my coloring book. So then I can color in the tent later. This is gonna be fun. All right, what else do we have here? Well. We have our water right here. You definitely need to bring water. Yeah, so then you can hydrate. Mmm, yum, I love water. Ooh, I have my orange sleeping bag. <laughs> this is gonna be so cozy. <laughs> Ooh, and a blue chair. I'm gonna set this up later next to the fire so then I can enjoy watching the fire and so I can roast my s'mores. <laughs> okay, all right. We have a pair of binoculars. Whoa, look at them. This is so then you can see things from far away, like birds. Whoa, there's one right there. <laughs> Hello, birdie. Hello. <laughs> all right, set those down right here. Ooh, and a lantern. Check this out. Wow, it's a really bright light so then at night you can see when it gets dark. And a giant one gallon thing of water. So then when I'm ready to go to bed, I can put it on the fire. So then we don't start any forest fires. That would be really bad. Oh, yep, my camping stick. <laughs> yep, you saw that later. Helps me with my balance while I'm walking through the trails. And last but not least, my tent. Yeah, it's like your house. But when you're in the wilderness, yeah, you need a place to sleep, right? Yeah. All right, let's open it up. I think I should pitch the tent. All right, here we go. like a puzzle. Whoa! This goes from one end to the other. And then I have another one of these. Now for the fun part. You raise the tent. Good, huh? Ta da! Now we can sleep inside. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I forgot to take off my shoes. <laughs> yeah, you take off your shoes before you get in the tent so then you don't track in any dirt. All right, let's zip it up. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> this is so much fun! <laughs> okay, a uh, coloring book I'll put right here. First, I need to take out my sleeping bag. Yeah, my orange sleeping bag. Whoa. 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 <laughs> okay, put that right over there. And then, here we go. Wow. The sleeping bags are really comfortable. Yeah, they keep you nice and warm at night. And it's really cold. Okay, here we go. We'll get inside. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> I'll stay nice and warm tonight. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hey, I have something fun to do. I think we could color. I have some coloring crayons right here. Yeah, I love coloring when I go camping because coloring is something fun that you can do because it's creative. It's really great. Have you ever colored? Yeah, what about drew something original? Because this, you can color this tree. Yeah, look, Blippi, welcome to my tree house. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, you can color something that's already there or you can find a blank page and then you can draw something original like blue, one, two circles, and <laughs> a smiley face with a tongue. <laughs> okay, well, what are we doing in here? We're camping. There's so much fun things to do outside. I think we should go outside and play some hide and seek. What do you say? <laughs> I love playing hide and seek. <laughs> okay, to play hide and seek, one of us needs to hide and one of us needs to seek. Yeah. Okay, I'll hide and you seek, all right? So, uh, all right, ready? Let's uh, count to five and close your eyes. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Hello? Do you see me? <laughs> Do you see me? Yeah! Hey! I'm right here! <laughs> Whoa! Good job! <laughs> that was so much fun! Oh! <laughs> this campfire is so nice! <laughs> well, anytime there's a campfire, you need to be very safe. Yeah, I made this campfire and I'm actually a grown-up, if you didn't know. Children should never make their own campfire. And if there is a campfire, you should always have a grown-up around you. If they're not there, you should tell someone, hey, grown-ups, someone should come near the campfire. <laughs> and hey, speaking of near the campfire, remember earlier I had this gallon of water? Yeah, it's about 3.8 liters. <laughs> yeah, you want to make sure you have water near a campfire. Just in case if it gets out of control, you can pour some water on the fire yeah, and put it out. But it's actually in a controlled environment. See this fire pit that I made it in? Yeah, yeah, it's not going to catch anything on fire. And that's another thing. You want to make sure there's no branches or, or leaves or anything above it or around it. Yeah, <laughs> so now that we have a safe campfire, I think it's a perfect time to make some s'mores. <laughs> have you ever had a s'more before? They're so yummy. After a good healthy dinner, you can have a s'more. Here, check it out. So we got some graham crackers. Yeah, and this is a rectangle, but you split it in half. And now you have two squares. Yum! <laughs> okay, and then you also have a cylinder. Yeah, that is a cylinder. See that shape? 
<laughs> but that's not what it's called. This is a marshmallow, and they're so yummy. <laughs> okay, I'll put that right there for now. Okay, actually, you know what? I should probably be a little bit more organized with this round white plate. <laughs> All right, then see this yummy chocolate? All right, that's the third and final ingredient of s'mores. I love chocolate. Yeah, and there's actually small rectangles. Do you see them? Yeah, small rectangles. And it actually makes a bigger rectangle when they're all connected. All right, the first thing you need to do is put your mallow, your marshmallow, on your stick. So then you do not hold it next to the fire. That would be really bad. You wanna stay a safe distance away from the fire. Yeah, perfect. Wow. And then we're cooking the marshmallow. Whoa, it's turning golden. Whoa, it's almost done. Whoa, that is looking so great. Do you see that? Whoa, perfect. This is gonna be so yummy. All right, let's put it right on top of the chocolate, which the chocolate is on the gram, and then the malo, and then another gram. Slide it out. Oh, perfect. Do you see that? I call this yummy, yummy, yummy s'more dessert. Nom, nom, nom. Ready? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, yum. <laughs> I think this is the perfect time for the camping song. <laughs> Here it is, the perfect place to pitch our tent Beneath the stars in the mighty wilderness We'll start a fire, make some s'mores and sing some songs Hey, I know one, it's the camping song Let's go camping, it's so much fun We'll learn so many things like how to fish and hunt Let's go camping and get some sun Let's go camping cause it's so much fun We'll go hiking and see all of nature's sights We'll see some animals and bugs of every kind And we'll sit around the fire telling stories one by one That's why camping is so much fun Sing along! Let's go camping, it's so much fun We'll learn so many things like how to fish and hunt Let's go camping and get some sun Let's go camping cause it's so much fun We can go canoeing down the river stream row, row your We boat. can watch the birds fly above the trees So much fun we can have throughout the day But don't forget your mosquito spray Let's go camping, it's so much fun We'll learn so many things like how to fish and hunt Let's go camping and get some sun Let's go camping cause it's so much fun Everybody sing! Let's go camping, it's so much fun We'll learn so many things like how to fish and hunt Let's go camping and get some sun Let's go camping cause it's so much fun are so yummy and camping is so much fun did you have a good day with me today yeah well this is the end of this video but if you want to watch more of my videos all you have to do is search for my name will you spell my name with me B L I P P I Blippi good job all right 
I should probably put out the fire right now. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Phew, it's so hot out today, but my popsicle is melting down my hand. Hmm, I wonder, why do popsicles melt down my hand? What's that, Tabs? Go into that ice cream truck and ask an expert? That's a great idea. I'm gonna need wings, the excavator arm, and duck feet. Wings, excavator arm, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Shrinking down! Woohoo! I'm in the ice cream truck! Hi! Welcome to my neighborhood! I'm Sherry Pop. Glad you popped in! Hi, Sherry! It's me, Blippi! I was wondering why my popsicle always melts down my hand! Oh, I know that one! But first, let's have some frozen fun! All right! Woohoo! We're ice cream boarding! <laughs> We're sprinkle sliding! I'm chocolate fudge snorkely! Sherry, are you melting? Yes, I'm melting because I'm very warm. But I'll go cool off in the freezer and I'll be fine in a sec. Ice cold. How's it going in there, Sherry? It's freezy breezy. Now I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it looks super freezing in there. Yep, it's cool to be cold when you're a frozen dessert like me. My ideal temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. If I keep cool like that, then I won't melt. Good to know. I see you're like my popsicle from earlier. When it was out of the freezer and in the heat of the blippy mobile, it melted on me. Sounds like your popsicle should have come for a visit. You're right, which means we have the answer to my question. Why my popsicle melts down in my hand. It's because popsicles will melt if they get <laughs> too warm. That's why we keep them in the freezer. Upload answer tabs. Sherry, thank you for a totally tasty adventure. It was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Stay cool, Flippy. Bye bye. Whoa. Hey, it's me, Flippy. Whoa, and do you see what's behind me? Yeah, a bunch of logs. Whoa. Today, I'm at the Port of Olympia in Olympia, Washington. And these logs are chopped down, exported to different countries, so then they can build houses. <laughs> but Washington State is really cool because for every one tree that gets chopped down, the companies here have to plant at least three new trees. <laughs> so I think we should explore the port, but first I need some safety equipment. <laughs> I love being safe. All right, let's go explore the port. <laughs> Whoa, do you see that? That is a crane and it's so big. I love cranes because they can grab things from the ground and lift them really high up in the air. Yeah, really heavy things. <laughs> I'm gonna go explore this crane. Whoa! Check it out. These are the crane's wheels and tires. Yeah, the tires are black and the wheels are the color blue. <laughs> Did you also notice how they're two wide? Yeah, one, two. Yeah, it's not just one, it's two. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Why don't we count all of these wheels and tires? All right, I'll start over here. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Eight wheels and tires. But wait a second. Remember how I said they're two wide? Okay, so we have eight times two. Eight times two. That's 16. <laughs> Good job. But wait a second. We're only on one side. So it has a whole other set on the other side. So here we go. 16 times two. <gasps> That's really hard. Let's see, 16 times two. <gasps> 32 wheels and tires! Whoa! Good job! Whoa, do you see that? There's actually a worker right here. Let's go talk to him. Hello! Hey, hey Blippi. Hey, who are you? I'm Frank. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What do you do here? Uh, I maintain equipment on the marine terminal and today we're looking at the Gotwald Mobile Harbor Crane. Whoa, a crane? That's so cool. Can we go up? Heck yes, All let's right. go. Let's go, come on. I'm gonna sit down in the chair. <laughs> this is where the operator sits. Whoa! Look at how high we are! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! This is so cool! So we're about 90 feet in the air, roughly. That's about 30 yards or meters. <laughs> Whoa! And do you see that those hooks right there? They're used to grab things. This can grab anything from logs to boats to pallets to, yeah, so many things. Whoa, and come check this out. Whoa, look at those big cables. This is the hoist room. Whoa, they're so big, look. Ooh, and this room is the electrical room. Whoa, look at all these. Whoa. Hey, look, there's another worker. <laughs> Looks like he's just working. Hey. <laughs> cool. All right, let's get out of this place. Whoa, now we're going into the engine room. Whoa, look at how big this engine is. <laughs> Frank, how big is this engine? It's so big, it's got 12 cylinders, and it's a twin turbo Cummins diesel. Whoa, that is a big, powerful engine. Whoa, look at how big that hook is. <laughs> oh, watch out, it's swinging. Whoa, did you See how big that is? Wow! That's what they use to pick up really heavy things. Whoa! <laughs> All right! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! This is a massive ship. Yeah, this vessel is the vessel that they load all these logs onto. And then it goes out into the ocean and transports and delivers the logs. <laughs> Whoa, hey, what does this sign say? Restricted area, authorized personnel only. <laughs> That's you and I, let's go. Whoa. Those are some big logs, and there's so many of them. I think you and I should count them. Ready? One, two, three, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 10,444, 10,445, 10,446, 10,000. Oh no, I lost track. <laughs> okay, well, anywho, I think we should let all the log stackers get back to work. So we should probably get out of here and then they'll stack some more logs on the ship. All right, see ya. Whoa, this is a small boat. <laughs> Whoa, this is a medium sized boat. Whoa, this is a big boat. <laughs> and what it also has is this travel lift. This travel lift goes right over the water, drops these belts down to the water, and then it can lift up a boat. Or it could do the opposite, where it can hoist a boat, one of those parked boats over there, over the water and then drop it down. But hey, check these out. These are some massive belts. They are so strong. Actually, this thing can lift up about the weight of seven school buses. <laughs> that is so much weight. Okay, let's uh, get out of their way so then they can lift up a boat. This is gonna be cool. Whoa, this machine is so big. Do you see what's happening? Yeah, those belts are lowering down to the water. And then they're gonna submerge themselves in the water. And that's when the boat is gonna go on top of the belts. And then the belts will lift the boat and then transport it to the land. Do you see what they're doing? They're using these poles to pull in the boat, nice and slow, so then it doesn't ram up against the dock. Yeah, because this might not be their boat, so they have to be very nice and delicate with it. Just like when you're borrowing someone else's toy, you want to make sure that you treat that toy with a lot of respect. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Did you see how they just lifted the boat? Yeah, now it's off of the water. Now the tires are gonna roll on the concrete and then bring it back to land. Whoa, that was awesome. Now it's time to scrape. Looks like a lot of barnacles and even some seaweed growth. Whoa! <laughs> that looks yummy, but not for me. <laughs> Whoa! All right, nice and clean. Yeah! Well, I should probably get going now because there's a lot more boats to explore. Yeah, check it out. There's so many. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. All right, let's have a picnic. There are a bunch of ants, Tabs, and they're all walking together. Hmm, I wonder, why do ants walk in a line? Good idea, Tabs. We can shrink down to ant size and find out. I'm gonna need spider legs. Spider legs confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Shh.
shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Ah, uh, y'all, welcome! I'm Anita, and this is my group of amazing ants. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. Anita, we're here to find out why ants walk in a line. Well, jump on in our line and find out. We're going to get snacks for a big old potluck back home. Thanks, Anita. Sounds yummy. You betcha. Well, hi, Maribel. Oh, my, that snack you have looks delish. So, where'd you find the food? A heap of thanks for the info, Maribel. We ants exchange information through our antennas. Let's go, y'all. <gasps> Uh-oh. Nice birdie. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Hello? Hello? Anita? Hello, we're here. Right back on the trail, sweet pea. There's a trail? I don't see it. You can't see it because it's a smell. When we walk, we drop a scent, and the ants behind us smell it using their antennas. So ants have antennas instead of noses? <gasps> Look, your antennas are twitching. That's right. My antennas are a twitching because they sense something tasty in this direction. Careful, y'all. Bumpy road ahead. <laughs> Anita led us right back to our picnic blanket. My word. OK, ants, let's get some food. Remember, teamwork makes the dream work. Grapes are good, walnuts are yum, cheese and crackers, I'm tickled pink. I can't believe that ants can lift all that. Yes, sir. We ants can carry more than 10 times our own body weight. Okay, y'all, let's hop on that trail and follow the scent back home. Just like follow the leader. Now I have the answer to my question. Why do ants walk in a line? Ants walk in a line because the ant in front drops a trail of smells behind her, and the other ants follow it. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Bye, Anita. Great to be in a line with y'all. <laughs> bye bye, Blippi. It's me, Blippi, and this place is where kids can come learn some circus skills. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's go. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and today I'm at Synapse Circus Center in Auburn, Washington. Whoa, look at this place. Wow, it is so colorful. And this place is where kids can come learn some circus skills. Oh, hey, who are you? I'm Coach Crystal, and I'm going to teach you some circus skills today. Yeah, I'm so excited. The first thing you have to do is take off your shoes. OK, I got to take off my shoes. OK, here we go. One shoe, two shoe. All right, now that my shoes are off, now we get to learn. <laughs> Oh, check this place out. It's so cool. Looks like we have a lot of cool things over here. Whoa. Yeah, it looks like juggling balls. <laughs> we'll get to those later. Feathers? What are these doing here? That's <laughs> so silly. Whoa. Look. Looks like tight wires. I am so excited to balance on these later. Wow. A trampoline. These are so bouncy. I really want to jump on this, but I probably shouldn't until I warm up and stretch. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Looks like a bar that you can hang on. Whoa. Whoa, an aerial fabric. Wow, what color is this? Yeah, this is the color purple. Oh, and over here, another one. This is the color yellow. <laughs> okay, enough playing. Let's get warmed up so then we can stretch and have some fun. Oh, hey! Hi, Blippi, you ready to warm up? Yeah, I'm 
I'm ready. All right, we're gonna run to the blue wall and then we're gonna run back to get our buddies all ready to go. Okay. Ready? Let's yeah. go. Check it out, I'm running. Whoa. All right, let's make our circle in the middle of the park. Okay. Arm circles backwards. We have to get our arms all ready to hang on the aerial fabric and the trapeze. Whoa. All right, let's go forward now like you're swimming. Okay, check it out. I'm making big circles with my arms. All right, let's sit down in our butterfly. Put your toes together and make a butterfly. Oh, check it out. I'm flopping like a butterfly. Yeah, butterflies start as caterpillars. They go through metamorphosis, and then they become beautiful butterflies. <laughs> okay, close your wings and squash them flat. We're going to blast off to the moon. Grab those toes. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! All right, we're going to do it one more time. This time we're going to start at three. Three, three two, two, one. Blast off! Yeah! <laughs> All right, go ahead and stand back up. You feel warmed up? Yeah. All right, let's go do some circuit stuff. Woohoo! Let's go! Whoa, that was really good. Did you see how high she was jumping? Yeah! Whoa! And look at what she's doing. <laughs> it is so cool how kids can come here and learn circus skills. Whoa, look at her! Whoa! She's using that aerial, aerial silk so good. Check it out! Wow, look at this area. This is so cool. Do you see these big pieces of paper behind me? Yeah, they have things written on them. Yeah, like goals. And once you accomplish that, you get to write your name on the board. Let's check it out. Straddle up in the air. Whoa, that means all these people that wrote their names on here, yeah, they accomplished that. Like Neil, Alyssa, Jonah, Zoe. Wow, good job. Whoa. Let's see what else. Um, wow. Straight leg cartwheel. Whoa, that's hard. But look at all the people that did it. Whoa, that is so cool. Ooh, six club passing. Wow, now that is hard. Yeah, not one single person accomplished it. Whoa, that's crazy. Hmm, I have an idea. What if I pick one of these and try and accomplish it today? That sounds like so much fun. Um, oh, here we go. Stand up with no hands, forward roll. Oh, that seems fun. It's like a somersault, but then at the end, when you stand up, you can't use your hands. Yeah, I think I should try that. This is gonna be fun. This is awesome! Oh, yeah! Whoa! Yeah! Okay, here we go. Now it's time to write my name. B L I P P I. Flippy! Wow, that was awesome! There are so many cool things. Whoa, what are these? Wow, kind of looks like a rainbow. Whoa, yeah, we have some purple. Whoa, purple rings. Whoa, check it out. Then we have some blue rings. We have some green rings. We have yellow. We have 
some reddish rings. They kind of look orange. But let's just say they're red. And we have some pink rings. Whoa, that is so cool. They're so colorful. Hey, what shape is this? Yeah, a ring is a circle. Check it out. <laughs> whoa, maybe I can juggle with these. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> I dropped one. <laughs> That's funny. Check it out. You can even spin them on your arm. Whoa, what if I tried that with a lot of them? This is gonna look so cool. Ready? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's fun. Check this out. This is called a pancake flip. You can practice by going like this. Yeah. Try and make it flip. And watch this. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> okay, let me put these back. Can't forget this one. Okay, now that those are organized and put back in their place, maybe we can use other things. Whoa, like this. This looks like a peacock feather. Wow, peacocks are so pretty. Huh, have you ever seen a peacock before? Wow, yeah. They can spread their wings out and it looks so graceful. But today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this peacock feather and try and balance it. Okay, put it on my finger. Whoa, <laughs> check it out. Yeah, I'm balancing it. I'm trying not to drop it on the ground. Whoa, you can do it by standing in the same area or maybe I can do it while moving. Whoa, whoa, this is hard. <laughs> whoa, check this out, ready? Let's try and put it on my nose. Whoa, whoa. I'm balancing it. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, yeah. That's so silly. Wow, balancing is so much fun. <laughs> what else do we have here? Oh, it looks like we have some, oh, <laughs> some rods. And we have some plates. How many plates did I grab? Yeah. One, two, three plates. And what colors are these? Yeah. Blue, red, yeah, and yellow. <laughs> okay, let's take the blue one, which is one of my two favorite colors, and give it some spin. Whoa. There we go. Yeah. You see it spinning and balancing? Yeah. Well, hey, these plates are plastic. You definitely shouldn't try this at home with your plates at home. If they fall, they'll break. Whoa. Yeah, these are circus plates. Whoa. Spin, spin, spin. Ready? Whoa. I'll try that again. Whoa. Did you see that? Here we go. Oh, whoa! <laughs> okay, I won't try it again. <laughs> okay, let me put these back and see what else we have. Wow! Check these out. So many juggling balls. Yeah, you know me. I sure do like juggling, don't I? Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're so colorful. Check it out. That one reminds me of a bee. Yeah, bees are so great because they make honey. Yum, I love honey. Okay, looks like this is red and black and blue and white, green and black. Okay, I'm gonna pick three of these. How about uh, these three? <laughs> All right, ready? And start on my knees and start to juggle. Whoa! Juggling is so much fun. 
It's pretty tricky though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But with a lot of practice, you can do a lot of cool things. <laughs> yeah! All right, now watch this. I'm gonna juggle this many. Ready? Okay, this is gonna be really tricky. Here we go! <laughs> that was so silly. All right, I should probably pick these up. All right, let's see what else is over here. Whoa, check it out. Hula hoops. Yeah, I love hula hoops. Yeah, let's grab a few of these. All right, come on over here. Wow, I grabbed three hula hoops. Yeah. What colors are these hula hoops? Yeah. This one is orange, yellow, and red. Wow. <laughs> what a cool hula hoop. Yeah, and this one, yeah, is blue and a shiny silver. Whoa. <laughs> hey. What's your favorite color? Wow, that's a great color. My two favorite colors are blue and orange. And this one, yeah, is the color purple and the shiny silver sparkle. Yeah, let's use this one. All right, I'm gonna first try and spin it on my arm. Whoa, 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 yeah, wee. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Check this out. Yeah! All right, here we go. I have an idea. Now that they're on the ground, I think we should spread them out and try and hop through them. Yeah! All right. How about like a frog? Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> yeah, good job. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. This has been so much fun learning all these circus skills. Yeah. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, remember this? This is the tight wire. Whoa, yeah. And you and I are gonna try and balance on this. It looks really hard because how small it is. Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's try this. All right, step right up here onto this platform and then you're gonna stand up so tall and walk through there. All right. I'm gonna be right here in case you fall. All right, perfect. Here I go. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I fell! That's okay, I'll try it again. Here we go. Whoa! I fell again! That was so much fun though. All right, let me try for a third time. Here we go, I got this. Yeah, that was really hard. And it feels so good to accomplish something that was extra hard. Good job. <laughs> okay, first, I'm gonna start with a roll. Here we go. Whoa. All right, now for the balancing. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> now for the arm walk. Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Wow! This has been so much fun! Yeah! But this is the end of this video! If you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do 
is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, Tabs, that bouncy castle is out of this world. Hmm, I wonder, what would it be like to bounce on the moon? Great idea, Tabs. We can go to the moon and find out. I'm gonna need a rocket booster, excavator arm, and frog legs. Jets, excavator arm, frog legs, confirmed. Okay, let's go explore. The Blippi Mobile is ready to blast off for adventure. And there's the moon! <laughs> yeah! Okay, time to land. Hey, that tickles! <laughs> Who are you? My name's Rocky the Moon Rock because uh, I'm a rock. Hey, Rocky. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're here to find out what it's like to bounce on the moon. Hmm, I never tried it myself, being a rock, but let me see if I can just get up. All right, then let's bounce. Cha, 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 cha. I'm light as a feather up here. I never knew I could have been having so much fun! Woohoo! It's amazing that we're staying up here this long. Why does it take so long to float down? Because of gravity! It's the invisible force that keeps your moon boots on the ground. It pulls things back down. But, 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 there's way less gravity around the moon than on Earth because the moon is so much smaller. That's why we float for so long. I have the answer to my question. What would it be like to bounce on the moon? It's so fun, and the bounces are really big because there's less gravity on the moon than there is on Earth. Upload answer tabs. We feel like we're floating, but gravity is slowly pulling us back down. Cha, 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 cha. Thanks for the greatest time that I, Rocky the Moon Rock, ever had. <laughs> Bye, Rocky. Keep on bouncing, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And I have a really cool fire truck here. <laughs> it looks just like a real life fire truck with a hose and horns, honk, 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 <laughs> and some really big wheels and tires. <laughs> I think it would be so cool to be a real life firefighter. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at it. It's a real life Firefighter pole, woo! <laughs> hey, let's slide down to the bottom. Okay, let's do it on the count of three. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa, I'm a little bit dizzy after that. <laughs> oh, look at it, it's a firefighter. Hello. <laughs> I think it's a really important job to be a firefighter because they help save people's lives and put out fires with a really big water hose. <laughs> hey, look, that's another job you could be. You could be a pilot. Yeah, and fly really big airplanes. <laughs> hey, you could also be an engineer. Ooh, well, what does an engineer do? They're really good at math. Yeah, like adding up numbers and subtracting numbers. Whew. And they plan all types of things so that other people can build them 
<laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> that sounds really cool. I want to be that too. <laughs> hey, I have a really cool idea. How about you and I go to this place where we can pretend to do all kinds of different jobs? Oh, that would be so exciting and fun. And then you can pick your favorite job. <laughs> okay, will you go with me today? <laughs> yeah! Come on, let's go! I'll see you there! <laughs> hey! We made it to Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida! <laughs> yeah! And I am so excited to learn all about jobs! Let's go! Woohoo! This is one of my favorite places. This is a pizza oven inside of a pizza restaurant. Whoa. One job that you can have when you grow up is to be a chef. Whoa. Chefs are so cool. <laughs> yeah, chefs are in charge of cooking all of the food at a restaurant. And I really like cooking pizza. <sighs> oh, it's so tasty. Oh. <laughs> hey. I have an idea. How about you and I make a pizza together? <laughs> okay, here we go. First, we need one of these pizza paddles to put the pizza in the really hot oven because we don't want to touch it with our hands. Mm -mm. Okay, get that and we'll get a metal plate. Hmm. So first things first, we need to start with the pizza dough. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the pizza dough right here. Ooh. And sometimes when you get the pizza dough, it's crumpled up into a little ball. So you have to stretch it. And sometimes spin it. Whoa! <laughs> like this. And that helps to make it look like a circle. Yeah, look. It's a circle. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Put the pizza dough down. And now we get to put on some yummy toppings. <laughs> hey, do you have a favorite pizza topping? Uh, I like that one too. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we'll put on some tomato sauce. Oh, and my favorite cheese. <gasps> I love pizza with lots of cheese. <laughs> okay, we'll put the cheese there. And now we can put all the toppings. We have some spinach. Ooh, <laughs> so tasty. And we have black olives. Whoa, <laughs> and they're all sliced up. Yeah, put those there. We have, whoa. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Do you know what these are? Yeah, these are mushrooms. We'll put these on too. We'll put on some onions. Ooh. <laughs> and then once you get your pizza made, then put it into the oven. You'll wait. And it looks like our pizza is delicious <gasps> and all done. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and now we get to go put it in a box. Come on. Yeah! Whoa, you did a really good job making a pizza with me. And now, it's my favorite part. <laughs> we get to eat the pizza! <gasps> mm, this pizza is really tasty. Mm -hmm. And that's because you helped me make it. Ah, <laughs> thanks so much. Wow, that was so cool learning about being a chef. And making a lot of yummy pizza. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, look over here. Whoa, there are so many different types of animals. I love animals. Hey, do you have a favorite kind of animal? <laughs> yeah, I like that animal too. Whoa, look, we have some kitty cats and we have Hmm, this looks like a really big puppy dog. Hello, puppy dog. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, look, we have a really colorful parrot and a bunny rabbit. <laughs> yeah, let's go get a closer look. Come on. Whoa, look at this place. This place is a veterinarian's office. Yeah, a veterinarian. 
or a vet. And that's a person that takes care of hurt or sick animals. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look, we have some really cute animals here. Hello. <laughs> ah, this is such a cute puppy, but we want to make sure that this puppy is okay. So the first thing you can do is take it to get an MRI. Yeah, an MRI. It's basically a scanner that uses magnets to take pictures of this puppy, but not pictures on the outside where it's smiling. <laughs> pictures of all the stuff inside, like its bones, to make sure they're not broken and this puppy is doing really okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, puppy. Whoa, look at it. The MRI is showing the inside of this puppy's leg. Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Well, this puppy seems to be pretty okay, but it looks like it hurt its lip. So we're gonna take care of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. The first thing we wanna do is put a bandage on its leg. So I'll use some dots. Oh, look, <laughs> we did it. We bandaged up this puppy. He's gonna be all better real soon. And the next thing we wanna do Let's give this puppy some medicine. Here you go, puppy. Ow, ow. Ooh. <laughs> He's happy and feeling better already. <laughs> yeah. And the last thing we want to do is we want to put this cone around its head because sometimes puppies get really playful and they take off their bandages. We don't want to take it off until he's all better. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. <laughs> he is so cute. <laughs> yeah. I love being a veterinarian. Being a vet with you was really fun because we got to learn about animals and take care of them if they get sick or hurt. <laughs> Whoa, this was awesome! Whoa, look at what it is! It's a fire truck! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, fire trucks are so cool! And look at this! It has really big wheels and tires! Whoa! <laughs> and really bright headlights and a metal bumper. <laughs> I bet it would be really fun to ride in one of these. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> wow, it is so much fun riding in a fire truck. And look up here, yeah. This right here is the firefighter's siren. And it goes like this. Yeah, when a firefighter has to go and help people from a fire, they turn this on and they honk their horns. <laughs> and that lets everyone know in the area that there's an emergency and they should move off the street. Yeah, so they can get there nice and quick and safely. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. This is a very important part of a fire truck. This is the fire ladder and it's really helpful for helping firefighters get up to really high buildings to save people and to use their hose to put out the fires. Oh look, and these are the valves where you hook up the hose. But this is a really big fire hose. It's not like a regular hose you might have in your yard. <laughs> it's really, really, really powerful to push out the fires and make everyone safe. <laughs> yeah, come on. This is the fire pole. Whoa, the fire pole is really helpful because in a firehouse, the firefighters, they live up on the second floor and the fire truck is on the first floor. So the pole helps them not have to take the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and do you see this? Yeah, this is a firefighter's uniform. It is so cool because it's fireproof. Yeah, if you or I were in a fire, that would be really dangerous because our clothes are flammable. They can catch on fire, but not a firefighter. They can go and save you because they're fireproof. Whoa, did you see the helmet? Yeah, look at this. This firefighter has a really cool yellow helmet and that protects their head from anything that might fall on it. Ooh, whoa, did you see this? <laughs> yeah. This is the really powerful fire hose. Whoa, this is so cool. There are so many different uh, 
adjustment valves, and look, it's really, really big, so that it can have a very powerful spray to put out all the fires. <laughs> yeah! Wow, maybe one day you and I can be firefighters too. We can help save people, but to be a firefighter, you have to be really, really brave. Yeah, brave. Hey, do you know what being brave means? Yeah, when you're brave, that means you might be scared of something, but you do it anyway because you're gonna help, help people and keep them safe. <laughs> well, I really wanna do a job that will help people too. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. Yeah, a job that you can do when you grow up is being a nurse. <laughs> yeah, being a nurse is a really great job because you help take care of others and make sure they get better when they might be sick. <laughs> Let's go see everything that a nurse does. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Do you see it? This right here is a skeleton. Whoa, <laughs> there are so many bones. Yeah, bones. Do you know what a bone is? Yeah, these are different types of bones. And a bone is what helps make you up. Yeah, helps you stand nice and tall. Ooh, yeah. it's right under your skin. Bones are really important and it's important to take care of your bones. Well, it's really good to learn about bones because if you ever break a bone, you can go to a nurse and they can help you. Come on. Whoa, look at this box. It's really bright. Ah! <laughs> this will help us look at different kinds of x-rays. Yeah. Whoa, this right here, this is an x-ray. And it kind of just looks like a dark sheet. <laughs> but it actually is a picture of the inside of your hand. So when you put it up here, you can read the x-ray. Yeah, you can see all the different bones inside your hand. Whoa, and this is really helpful to take a picture, an x-ray of your hand, because if you break a bone, the nurse can say, hmm, you broke this bone and now we can fix it. Okay. <laughs> wow, x-rays and nurses are pretty amazing. Whoa, and look at this over here. Another thing you do when you go see a nurse is you see how tall you are. Whoa, look, I'm five feet and 11 inches tall. That's pretty tall. <laughs> hey, do you know how tall you are? Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty tall too. And I bet when you grow up, you'll be even taller. Maybe five foot 11 or six foot or six foot one inch or seven feet tall. Whoa, that's really tall. <laughs> Being a nurse is an amazing job. Maybe one day I'll be a nurse when I grow up and I can help make people feel better. <laughs> yeah! Well, this was really exciting. Hey, I'll see you in just one second. Woo! Hey! <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all those different types of jobs. <laughs> there were a lot of them. Whoa! <laughs> hey, which one was your favorite job? <laughs> yeah, I like that one a lot too. It was really fun doing that with you. <laughs> Whoa, look at this over here. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> do you see what it says? Curiosity Corner. Whoa, that means it's time for the Curiosity Corner where you and I get to learn all types of things. <laughs> hmm, but I wonder what we're gonna learn today. I guess you and I are just gonna have to find out. I'm so excited, let's go. Welcome to the Curiosity Corner, where we get to paint a really beautiful picture together. <laughs> and it looks like we have everything we need. We have our paints. Ooh, <laughs> look, we have three different colors. Blue, yellow, and red. <laughs> These colors are really important because they're primary colors. And primary colors are used to mix, get mixed up and make every other color in the rainbow. So we're gonna use these to paint a beautiful picture. Well, we're gonna need our palette with paints 
and a paintbrush. Okay, so let's wet our brush first. Then we get the paint. Okay, so first we want to make a really cool orange because it's my favorite fruit and favorite color. So we'll start with some yellow. Whoa, <laughs> it's so fun to mix up the paints. We're gonna make a circle. <laughs> Whoa, look, we made a yellow circle, but it's not quite the right color. So now we're gonna add another primary color, red. Just a little bit of red, and a little bit of water, and then we can mix it up to make an orange. Whoa, look at how pretty that color is. It has little bits of red and little bits of yellow and a lot of bit of orange. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun learning about colors with you and painting a really pretty picture. It's time for me to go wash out my brush. <laughs> Looks like we got some traffic here. <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all those different kinds of jobs with you. <laughs> Whoa, there were so many different kinds. <laughs> well, even if you didn't pick your favorite today, that's okay. You have all the time in the world. <laughs> Just keep on exploring and being curious and I'm sure you'll find what you will want to do when you grow up. <laughs> well, I'm having a lot of fun with these trucks. This fire truck and recycling truck. Whoa, and this construction vehicle with an excavator arm. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye.